Okay, Godzilla vs. Desestroya. This one is... has a bit more of a thriller feel to it in the, in the field of uh, Godzilla movies. What you have is Godzilla and Junior. This time is supposed to be in the, a fairly cartoonish, child-looking version. This is the smaller Godzilla. The, the main Godzilla is kind of undergoing a meltdown. You know, she, she's hit a, a moment where her heart being so full of radioactive energy and so high in fusion is beginning to break down and she's in, in incredibly uh, becoming hotter and hotter. How they make this design work is they have striations in there, these nice red pulses going through it. You know, really well done. So you have, as always, you end up having the, the Japanese military trying to stop Godzilla from essentially having a meltdown using lots of freezing weapons. And then they decide, we can use the oxygen destroyer again. But then they find out there's a bunch of creatures that have been mutated from the use of the original oxygen destroyer way back in the first Godzilla movie. And at first, they're just a bunch of these really small creatures. And then there becomes a lot more of them. And they're fairly large. They're like car size now. And they're constantly growing and getting bigger. And they're also attacking people. So it has almost kind of like an alien assault sort of feeling to it with all the little uh, destroy us all over the place. And then after a while, they begin to form and form a giant one. So what ends up happening is, you end up having a smaller Godzilla, the Godzilla that's glowing and is hitting a near meltdown, fighting this gigantic creature that's flying, shooting lasers. So you end up having a little Godzilla, full-grown, melting-down Godzilla, giant Desestroya, <clears throat> as well as the, the military and all their freezing weapons has a really nice feel to it, and it really has a good climactic ending to it. You know, since you do realize that you have a smaller Godzilla, as well as a Godzilla that's grown so powerful that she's pretty much, you know, self-destructing and dying. Really nice feel to it. This one is definitely more on the gruesome side. You know, in the past, in most Godzilla movies, you know, you'd see them hit each other, but this one... You see Destroya kind of gore a hole into one of the Godzillas, you see you know, Mama Godzilla striking him and just goo flying everywhere. This is definitely a little more on the vicious side, you know. But that being said, if this would have been one of the last Godzilla movies, which it was for that sequence, and then of course they restarted it again, you know, it's a very, very good, nice climactic feel to it while keeping a smaller Godzilla in case they wanted to go back and continue the franchise.